Hello everyone, we're back, and there's only a couple of hours until maintenance tonight, but I figured, what the hell, we have a lot to get done, so let's get it done, right? So, uh, actually, since we left off last time, I actually spent every last bit of gil, uh, picking up uh, a couple of HQ weapons that were fairly cheap on the market board, so we picked up a couple swords, and we, we also picked up an axe, and these were fairly cheap, which is why I bothered to uh, grab my- oh, and I picked up- uh, a level 15 shield as well. So once once we get to level 15, uh, we'll have quite the uh, quite the upgrade uh, to uh, to equip there. Uh, I had to I had to like scrounge literally. I had to scrounge through and sell whatever I could to just the the NPCs over there to be able to afford that. And uh, it literally zero gill again, but uh, it'll be fine. We'll start getting a bit of gill and. Uh, gear from quest once we start getting into those so let's do that let's do that we're gonna go to the western thanland first because that's where the main quest isn't and we're just gonna do that quest chain that kind of pops up there so uh i'm all out of potions as well because i sold <laughs> i sold them all so that's that's uh maybe not good but we'll, we'll make do we'll be fine we're a tank so we should be able to take those hits let me check this out. Make sure we don't have anything we need to pick up here. Central, uh, Earth Sprites, we should probably be able to pick up. And then Dusty Mongrels are actually on the other side of the bridge over here. I'm not sure if we're going to be going over there just yet. But uh, we can actually hit that up and grab the Aetherite right at Horizon. So, we'll see where these quests send us. That's another thing too I really appreciate about sort of the quest design is that you'll, you'll kind of come upon like these little hubs, like these little areas where you can just, you'll just get, you'll get introduced to these like just going through the main story most of the time and then they'll, they'll have like a couple of just side quests that'll just chain together here and it's great. It's, it's just, it's wonderful. Oh this, uh, this introduces us to the goblet which is the residential area. Here in Old Da, it uh, doesn't really mean much right now because we don't really. There's not really any houses for sale, and uh, I don't. I don't think I can even buy a house. Like I, I think it's technically they, they don't want you to have multiple houses between characters on a one account. So since I already own one on my main character, I don't think they want me to uh, get another one. But that's fine, because we'll, we'll be able to use our free company house once we uh, get in there. That's all the rest of the EXP I have, man. It's been like, it's literally been like a full 24 hours. That's fine. That, that's going to go really fast, too. The way rest of the EXP works is it's based on just levels, not actual EXP. So it's more efficient to use ER rested exp on higher level characters or higher level uh, classes or jobs than it is to uh, do them on lower levels because you'll burn through that really fast something to keep in mind if you're uh, trying to make the most out of your rested exp easy all right what are we doing here picking up cargo I also I haven't managed to pick up any other like I need pants and boots he headpiece I'm not worried about because uh, I'm probably probably just gonna keep this friendship circlet on until I hit level 26 which is when it stops working okay there's there we go And what is that sound? Oh, uh, my menu. I was like, what is that pattering sound? Why can't I find this last crate? There it is. Oh, there's a fate over there. I wonder if, uh, <laughs> wonder if there's going to be a train of people who go and completely blow through it.
Yeah, I think they're blowing through it right now. Eh, it's whatever. That's the that's the thing, right? Because back when I'd say two point, well, whenever they added uh, Atma weapons, right? The Atma step for the uh, Zodiac weapon. I feel like that 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 presented a decent enough balance because uh, you, you just didn't you didn't have people just completely ruining fates, but fates are just like an absolute like mess right now like it's just higher level players blowing through them in huge groups and uh, if you're just kind of a new player I imagine it's very difficult to get a good rating on them unless you're partied up like they are so it's a little unfortunate but that's just how the uh, the current events ro rolling out right now I imagine it'll calm down after a, a couple more weeks pass Nice. I keep wanting to uh, mount up, but I don't have a mount. Also, I haven't eaten food. Should eat food. I need to get more potions and more food. I, I have gill again, though. 389 gill. Yeah. It's something like that is that is nothing in terms of gill, but uh, for making decent purchases, like just finding the occasional like high quality piece of armor or sword on the market board that's actually pretty cheap it's real helpful to have that gill on hand we're gonna go hit up the uh, housing district over here a bit unfortunate there aren't more houses available so that you know every every person could have one if they wanted but uh I mean, they have quite a few houses already, it's just, there's a lot of people, so. And on top of that, some some people have two houses, because one for themselves and one for the free company, so. We can only hope, fingers crossed, when they, uh, when they add more housing, they add a decent chunk more, so that more people can get houses. This is really fun having a house. It's not necessary at all, but it's really fun to have a house. Like those, I like those far eastern houses in old. Uh, that's that's really cool. Oh, can we head back now? All right. I mean, I guess we can attune to this. Oh, never mind. You don't have to attune to uh, housing district. One thing I am not sure about... Oh wait, it's over here. One thing I'm not sure about is if what happens if you join a free company as a newer player, but you don't have access to like one of the later residential zones that you won't get until Stormblood, for instance. I guess you just wouldn't be able to teleport to that house until you got to that point, which really sucks, but... I mean, I guess there isn't a very easy way to do it. Yep, there's the there's the maintenance warning. Two hours, so we still have a bit of time to get through a decent chunk of stuff. There we go. The goblet is now accessible. Probably won't ever go there ever again, but it's accessible now. Man, I'm really feeling this 60 minute sprint. Oh my goodness. Uh, it's so painful. I don't let's I think it was Stormblood where they where they did that. Uh before Stormblood, Sprint was on a 20 second cooldown, but it used up all your TP in order for you to uh to use it. And I think in Stormblood they changed it so that it didn't take up your TP. But it was on a 60 second cooldown instead. And then... No, it was on a 30 second cooldown, I think. Because it lasts for 20 seconds uh, before Stormblood. And then they changed it to 60 seconds, but no TP usage. And then they just got rid of TP altogether in Shadowbringers, so... But, uh... Yeah. 
definitely feeling that that longer cooldown out here in the field without having access to uh, mounts yet. That is this is a bit painful. Worth noting, by the way. In case uh, I'm just I'm just doing this in case there's ever like any new people watching these who haven't uh, gotten to the game yet or just starting out. But you can actually get chain bonuses for EXP by killing enemies that are your level or above your level. It's not really recommended that you do that though, because I mean, the amount of EXP you get from it isn't really that much, but if you're ever just out killing stuff for whatever reason, for hunting logs or quests, if you can, and you can handle it, try and go for enemies that are your level or maybe one or two levels above you, as long as you uh, can handle killing them. I remember this. I'm not actually sure if I can use this ferry yet, because it it will take you to up here, but I'm not sure if it'll let you use it, or if you have to go use the one to the north first. Okay, I'm actually... Hold on, I'm actually going to unsummon this minion, because its little pattering is is getting is is irritating me sorry you're adorable but like i can't can i use this oh no i have to reach level 12 first that's okay uh slash doubt slash doubt there we go hold on Yeah, get out of here. There's no way I'm gonna read all of these, especially not out loud. Like I need to, I need to keep my voice. I need to make my voice last, because I am pretty much probably gonna be working on this character all day tomorrow. So, yeah, that's gonna be fun. Nice hair. You have Thancred's hair. Speaking of Thancred, we should, uh, he should be our, like, um, introductory NPC since we started in Nolda. Which I don't remember ever doing, I don't think. So that'll be a new experience for me. All the characters I've made, I seriously don't think I've ever started in Nolda. Is there a worker down here that I missed? Okay, I remember. One of them's in this building, like, sleeping, I think. Or maybe they're both in here. I think they're both in here. Yeah. Some of these side quest uh, chains have interesting side stories if you want to actually uh, take the time to, to read through them. Like, usually in, in each of these hubs areas, there's, like, one sort of, like, chaining side story quest line and uh those are worth you know getting into if you if you have the patience uh for them but uh you know other there, there's definitely still a bunch of quests that is basically just whatever made up excuses they have for you to go out and stand at a spot or kill some stuff real quick the usual the usual mmo Grindy quest line thing. Here, co here comes the trains. I bet. Let's come get this fate over here. Oh my god, they spawned all around me. That's kind of creepy. Don't worry though. The, the train will come and completely obliterate these. Hey, I got rampart. That's not where I have. I don't actually. I think I have rampart right there. There we go. That's better. Uh, did I? No, I, I need more goblins. You know what I really want? I want my <laughs> the third part of my combo, but I don't think that happens to like... Like 26, I don't think. Something like that. Right, here, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna... I'm gonna grab these, these Earth Core sprites while 
they do all the heavy lifting. This is one of those uh, fates where you're supposed to turn in cores and depending on how many you turn in determines your uh, your ranking. And you can get the cores by killing these earth sprites but you can also just or I guess in this case it's earth sprites but you can also get them by picking them off off the ground. They should uh, like spawn in a pattern where you could basically just infinitely pick them up if you're if you know where they spawn, which I don't, because I don't know. I have not done this fate in so long. Actually, surprised there's not more people here. There's only like two. I don't know what happened to my sound right there. Decided to crap out. This, this core's just spawned up. This is really inconvenient for me, because I, I really just want to, I like, I just really want to get my quest done. But they, they just keep spawning on me. But now that I've actually put some time into this, it's like, I might as well try and go for, uh, get a reward from this. Although, fates are probably skilled super high right now, so you probably need to do a lot in order to get full credit. God, see? It happened again. It literally spawned on top of me. This is... This is real. I really wish you'd stop. Leave me alone. That's the thing. I, I, I don't... I'm not particularly fond of fate grinding for levels. It's definitely a good way to level if... You can keep yourself entertained. But uh, I've never I've never been super fond of it. I've always preferred to just do fates in the way that they were kind of intended, which was for you to uh, to just kind of be out in the world exploring, and then you see one nearby, and you be like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll go do that fate. Why not? Well, I say that. I mean, I'm sure they also intended it for it to be viable for you to just fate grind if you wanted to for exp. But the way it was marketed in the life letter that I watched explaining fates was like, hey, yeah, yeah, you, you just be out in the field and. No, there'll be a fate there, and you can go and do it if you want for some rewards. I just want this fate to be over so I can do my quests in peace. Here's another five. I might actually get a decent rating on this. I don't know. I'll pick this up. Why not? Please don't. It happened again. <laughs> I'm just gonna run far enough away. Look, the blue mage is gonna kill it for me. Look, there's another fate over here, too. Okay, when do I. When do I. Hold on, let me check. When do I get. 26 for Rage of Alone, which I think that's how it's always been for Rage of Alone. So, you know, fair enough, I guess. I didn't even pick up the, the Maginite or whatever. Mag Magnetite? Magnetite is probably how it's pronounced. Here you are. Oh, wait, never mind. You wanted Cobblin Grease. Well,. Here you are. Who needs the Magnetite? Hey, look, I got full EXP credit for that. 16 gil. Oh, snap, I'm rich. Oh, look, my rest of the EXP is almost all used up. Fafa Funo's Baggage. That's a, that's a lovely name. Fafa Funo. Alright, guys, look. This, this is... Alright. When we finally get the ability to make a retainer... I'm gonna make a retainer named Fafafuno. As long as no one else has that retainer name, I'm gonna make make a retainer named Fafafuno because that is a that's an awesome name. This person is naked. Oh, here we go, leather leggings. I mean, you get a little bit of extra defense. 
and you get one strength, or it could take just the 200 gold. Uh, you know what? Sure, I'll take it. Why not? Did they go through and re-dye these to be, like, not hideous looking colors? Because, <laughs> like, I just realized, like, these gloves were dyed black and so is this. And, you know, black is just one of those colors or... I guess black's the lack of color, right? I don't know. Who, who cares? I don't. I'm not an artist. But it's like, black is one of those colors that is like, it's neutral enough that it'll look decent with most things. I guess. So, I mean, they could just leave it undyed. I don't know why they have to give you dyed rewards in the first place. I was really hoping they would have gone through and uh, started giving you HQ rewards for going through the quests. But, uh... Alas, I think you have to get to uh, Stormblood before they start doing that. Unless they change it for Heaven's Word uh, uh, rewards for quests. That's also a possibility. Still need pants. Excellent. I'm liking how my 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 the gear on my character isn't actually like completely hideous. <laughs> it's it's actually looks fine. Like as you're kind of leveling, uh, your your gear will start looking more and more like mi mismatched, I guess, and it just starts to look really weird after a while. But uh, yeah. Thankfully, they moved the Glamour quest line down, I think. I think it's as soon as you get to... I think you need to be level 18 and have access to... Um, damn, what's that? What is this area called over here? What is this? It's been so long since I've been there. Vesper Bay. Yeah, there we go. I literally haven't ha had to go to Vesper Bay in years. <laughs> ever since, um... Ever since you've never... You've stopped going to the Waking Sands. So... And look at how fast they blew through that fate. See? So yeah. Fates for uh, solo leveling players are kind of ruined right now. But it's whatever. They'll fix themselves after people get all, all the rewards they need. It's terrible, Chelly. Simply terrible. Please, you must help us. You've already done so much for us, I know. But we are in grave danger. I totally don't know what I've done for you. But sure. This is, this is obviously important. We have... Framed. I was going to say cutscene, but I mean, it's framed. Those fiends have drawn up a fake contract of sale and are trying to use it to drive us from the bazaar. Do you smell that? Kiki Poo. <laughs> Just, that is an amazing name. That is the smell of inevitability. Wow, I love... Kenrick? Dude, I love you, man. That is, that is some dialogue. That is the smell of inevitability. You knew this day would come. You simply chose to fill the interim with resistance rather than acceptance. Brave but foolish. Aw, oh, dude, I love Kenrick even more. He looks so rad. Back for more, Kenrick. How many times must I say it before it seeps into that thick skull of yours? I'll die before I see one elm of this land fall into your hands. Easily arranged, I assure you. Come, Kiki Poo, listen to reason. You know who we are, you know our deeds, you've no hope in this. Look at this miserable place, a stain on the map. You resist now, but I swear I will lay waste to these shabby tents and broken buildings. And when I'm finished, I guarantee you will thank me for it. You stupid foolish man, you couldn't be more wrong. We may no longer boast the visitors or guild of days past, but this is home to me and many more. Our memories are here, years worth of them, decades. We sweated together when we dug this well. We laughed and drank together in every festival, and we mourned together with each life the desert took from us. That is Silver Bazaar. That is home. Man, I have no stake in this, because I have no idea what I've been doing for these people. These memories, or those memories, are what makes this place. And I swear to the Twelve Above, I'll feed you whatever masters... Uh, I'll feed you and whatever masters you serve your own manhood before I... Jesus, holy crap, lady. Stubborn girl, no matter... <laughs> The sale is all but concluded. Look about you. Writs of seizure have already been posted. 
and I'd not think of taking them down where I were you. End this futile fight, Kiki Poo. There are far more of us, and if you are truly willing to die for this place, we're more than willing to oblige you. Shelly, please, the risk of seizure. You must tear them down and chase Kenrick from here once and for all. I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> like, I feel like that's that's not how that works. Like, I'm not a lawyer or anything, but I'm pretty sure that's... I'm pretty sure you can't just take down a writ of seizure and have it be hunky-dory and all right. But you know what? Why not? This is in real life. This is a game. You think I'm a lingerie wearing bunny in real life? Of course not. Really need to get some pants. Is there anything in here? I don't think I went in here. It's just one dude. Keep those filthy gropers off the merchandise, you. What merchandise? What the- There's nothing in here. You're sitting at an empty table. There's- I guess there's chests? I don't know. I like how I'm killing all these mercenaries and <laughs> taking down these rid of seizures, like, I kind of feel like I'm the villain in this story. Like, yeah, what he's doing is probably really shitty. I don't actually know because I wasn't paying attention to the dialogue, but, <laughs> you know, I feel like the law's on his side here. Here, Kenrick. I thought you might be along. Pity you're too late. The Dem demolitionists are already on the way. Every building bearing a writ of seizure will be rubble within the hour. Well, I have news for you, Kenrick. Here are your writs of seizures, and also, ignore the blood of all the mercenaries you hired on my hands. But that means, my men. No, that's impossible. Yep, that's right. I murdered them to save this place. I'm a hero. Thumbs up. Wow. Alright. Alright, Kiki Poo. I murdered people. What are you gonna give me? So Kenrick is gone for uh, gone for now, is he? That's certainly the brightest news we've had in a while. Though I can't help but wonder what about the more fearsome company he threatens to bring. Uh, I never had a way with words. Bloody paltry things. But I, uh... We would like to thank you, Jelly. You've not just saved the Silver Bazaar, you saved me. You've saved who I am, and it only costed four lives. I see now that I'll maintain constant vigilance to keep my home from harm, but it's a vigil I welcome. I'll stand up to any threat that comes through that gate. And we'll stand with you. Yeah, you tell him Fafa Funo. Fa Fafa Funo? Is that, is that your name? Shit, I should write that down so I don't forget. Alright, this is my home, and even if there's nothing left but sand and cracked stone, then I say we build something right here together. Oh, good, good job, guys. Yep. Final favor to ask you, this litter. I wonder if you would deliver it to Mamadi next time you visit Olda. She and I have been friends for many years. Let her read my words, and she'll be able to give you the reward I cannot. I hope it's a big fat check. Lots of gil, because I could use that. Alright, looks like we're done in Western Thanland for the time being. We didn't actually go over there to Horizon's Edge, but uh, I'm, I'm sure we'll be sent back here eventually. All right, Adventures Guild. Let's go. Man, that was that was half an hour. <laughs> All they did was run around and murder people and get stuck in fates that got completely blown by. Whatever. I got some levels. I got a thousand gil. I got eleven 1 hundred gil. What's this all about then? Here you go. Huh? A letter? Now who would would uh, Kiki Poo? Haven't had word from that old gal in ages. How's the deer doing? 
Let's see here. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. That's Kiki Poo, all right. Sending random people she met to go murder people. That's that's the friend I know. Time. Uh. Time was I. Uh. What? Can you? S can anyone in this game speak properly? Time was I used to call in. What? Is that proper grammar at all? Like, I keep trying to read that and it just confuses my brain. Alright, time was I used to call in at the Silver Bazaar quite often. This was back when I was still the busiest hub in Thanlin, mind you. When it was still the busiest hub in Thanlin. Oh, Kiki Poo and I used to stay up till dawn talking about, well, whatever girls do. Kiki Poo is the very heart and soul of that place. Hells, even most folk here in the city still remember her name. Breaks my bloody heart to hear her and them good folk were nearly forced from their land. Dirty business that. But I'm not to the point of worrying just yet. I'd wager guilt to Gugo Gupo Poop that the Silver Bazaar will be rallying back to its former glory for long. In any case, I thank the 12 of you were there to help them. Here for you on behalf of Kiki Poo and the Bazaar. Woohoo, 132 gil and some rings. That I don't actually need, I don't think. These are just worse. I'll take take the bronze though. Yay! I got the storyteller achievement. Whatever that is. I think it's probably just completing a number of quests. I don't think there's actually any reason for me to come over here. Like I don't actually need anything. Like, I'm I'm pretty set. I mean, I could buy pants, but I feel like I'm gonna get pants from one of these quests. Yeah, this this quest gives level five pants. I don't actually want that. I want level well, level eight pants. Altered thigh boots. Hey, those look kind of nice. They've added they they added a lot of altered gear this patch. I don't know why, but they did, and I'm not sure, like. Just, I already said I don't know why, so I'm not sure I was going to say what I was going to say. I'm not sure why, but they added more stuff, which, I mean, I guess that's fine. More glamour and more options, I suppose, is always a good thing. But, uh, yeah, anyways, I'm going to I'm gonna end the part here because apparently we've been recording for half an hour. So, next time we'll head to Central Dandelion. This is totally going to take, like, 200 videos to get to Heavensward. My god. But anyways, sayonara. Bye-bye.